Thank you, DJ. <laughs> Thank you, DJ. Hi, uh... Anyways. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Final Fantasy 16. I thought I pressed the button. But, uh, yeah, my mic was still muted. Anyways. Uh, a lot of shit happened last time. <laughs> DJ coming in hot to save the day. I appreciate ya. But yeah, oh my god. We fought a couple more hunts. We managed to meet Mid, who's Sid's daughter. She's adorable. I love her. We helped her, um, open up her own little shop here. Can't do anything there yet, but I'm sure in time there will be stuff there to do. Oh, we have new hunts. Look at him. He's adorable. What new hunts do we have? Oh my god. Okay, so last time we already had the the Doolahan, we had this thing, and I think we had that too, but these are new. These last five are new. <gasps> Is that a curl? And bugs. The Soul Stingers. Wow, that sounds like a band. The Breaker of Worlds. Dude, that's an S rank. And then this guy. The Nine of Knives. Fuck that enemy. Holy shit. Cool. That's that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck. That's probably really high level too. So is this one. The Breaker of Worlds. Huh. Alright. Well, I might focus on these some other time. But I just want to do the main story today. We got new things here too. Let's talk to Desiree. How may I help you today, Clive? You earned this. Dire Wolf Jess. What the hell does that do? Best of luck out there, Sid. What does that do? Increases combo damage by 5%? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Seems like everybody has dots. <gasps> the blacksmith. I want to go there. I want to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can make we can make a cool earth weapon now that we finally beat Titan. God, I still can't stop thinking about that fight. <laughs> continuously blows my mind. Amazing. Clive. Sorry, what it be? The grindstone. Damn. So, I think my attack is already 220. If I make this, it only goes up by 5. Ooh, I can make this. <gasps> With a curl whisker! My defense only goes up by 2? Seriously? Oh. So, if I go by a hunter's waistcloth, hold on. Karen better fucking have it. Is it business or pleasure? That's expensive, bitch. You're a bitch. It better all be here. Finished, are you? Yes. You hoe bag, bitch. What do you need? I need stuff. Sorry, would it be? I need stuff. So this. My best work. It'll do. And then this. You can thank me later. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else do I want to do? Do I want to use my items here, though? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Oh, I thought it was going to be, like, more gold. That's still cool looking. I approve. All 
Alright, gotta get rid of that. I need to see if he has any notes, which he does. What's new? Got homecoming. Oh, it's from Jill. Okay. I apologize for what happened at Rosalith. I fear what might have been had or I fear what might have been had not you. I fear what might have been had not you, Gav, and Torgal fought so fiercely. Oh my god. The beginning of that sentence. Holy shit. Once again you were there when I needed you most, and for that I shall forever be grateful. Seeing the city I had once knew or I once come to know as my home reduced to flame and rubble has left me with much much sadness in my heart. But the time for looking back is beyond us. We must focus on the here and now. Our memories will be waiting for us when this is all through. Hell yeah. And they can finally bang. Oh. <laughs> he literally called us Sid, Sid the Second. I trust you will forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I am confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust, especially in times like these. For what it's worth, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you it shall not e easily be relinquished. May this be the start of a fruitful relationship. Cool. He's a G. I like that character a lot. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna speak with Otto. Oh yeah, and last time we learned what Torgal is, and he's like a descendant of Fenrir, which is fucking awesome. I love that so much. The same troops are massing at every border. Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. Hey, Fern, how you doing? From Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. Hey, Happy Saturday, sir. You're doing as well, was it? It's it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Sweet. And you're doing good, Fern. Happy Saturday to me, too. Well, thank you. Carrie! Oh my god. Aren't you on vacation, or did you guys come back? Who says you're allowed to go on vacation again? What do you mean, again? What do you mean again? <laughs> You're gonna get to work. Ju break just ended, but you wanted to stop in real quick and say hello. Have a safe trip, and you'll miss me all. Well, thank you, and right back at you, Fern. I hope you have a good rest of your evening, and happy Fourth of July. Ah, the conquering hero returns, and with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waludas. Waludas. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the fang. <laughs> Thanks for the ten biddies, Fern. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. And oh my gosh, you guys are on your way home. About three hours left. Driving through Pennsylvania right now. Nice. Never actually driven through that state myself. It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. 
And what bigger picture is there than my map? She's got a big map, you say. <laughs> yeah. Longest state ever. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this. If you think Pennsylvania is fucking long, don't ever drive through Nebraska. Don't ever. Don't do it. That state is so fucking long, it will take you literally all day to drive through it. <laughs> Worst decision ever. And there are stadies all over the place. I may or may not have received a speeding ticket going three over. Or 13 over. Might have been 13. So fucking flat, you're correct. <laughs> well, I hope the last leg of your journey goes by quickly and Pennsylvania is in your rear view mirror, ASAP. <laughs> It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. <laughs> the Battle of the Twin Realms. Yeah, speed limit was 70. I think I was doing 83. <laughs> it's just all fucking flat and country and corn and sunflowers and shit. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. Fuck that state. The warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? That is weird. Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Wulud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? Oh my god, that fight with Odin, that's gonna be epic as hell. In summary, I know not to attend the royalist betrayed Kutka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Depends on your personality, I guess. Here for another of my lectures? No. How may I help you today? I just want the yellow dot Very to go good. away, that's all. Thank you. Alright, so we have to speak to Karen Blackthorn in Harpocrates. Greek ass motherfucker. So, Tomes is gonna be to the right in the library. And we already know where Karen is and Blackthorn. I would love it if there were just Moogles floating around this room and no one knew because they can't see them. <laughs> Except us. <sighs> you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. 
Hugo Kupka is dead. Oh, my. Can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. The big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. <laughs> A new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas. No. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals not. Sid knew who he was. Only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Okay, so Tom's is happy. He doesn't know what the fuck ultimate is though, which is unfortunate. Maybe in due time we will find out for ourselves. Thanks to see it. <gasps> Look at our good boy just sitting there. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Can I pet you? No. Well. Someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Oh, shit. She didn't have much to say. All right. What are your new what items? Can I do for you? Enhancer. Oh, my attack goes up, but my stagger goes down. I don't like that. It's not worth it to me. I don't want it. I'll buy it though. I'll buy it. You not find a better price than that. That's new. That's new, that's new. Nice. Okay. Wow, I have hella. <laughs> I have hella. Come again. Or don't. Or don't. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that... Hugo Kukra is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Alright, let's go talk to Otto then. We've I'm spoken to everyone true. that he's wanted I us to speak to. You 
Bailey sat down since you came home. Have you even got you running air ribbons or something? Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongue down at that worship of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. All right. Where is our girl Mid? She's over here. I think we need to climb up here in order to get to where she is. Yeah. Here we go. I think down here. Yep. Girl, it is dark down here. You need some light. Alright, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid. And I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal. <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Oh? We are going to get a ship in this game? Awesome. My dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. The thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. Is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts necking. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Alrighty then. Fun, fun, fun. We're gonna get a ship. I am hella excited. So, is it gonna be... Oh, we have to go to Blackthorn. Okay. Okay, okay. Which we can get to from over here, thankfully. Down the steps. I love Mid so much. She's so much fun. <laughs> All right, good sir. Hello. Blackthorn. Can I ask a favor? How was it? It's for Mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. And myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Yeah. Thermal plating designs. Give it to me, please. Gregor's Tate. 
<laughs> well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. At least I don't have to go running around finding them again. That's nice. So Liz roped us all in here again, didn't she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You're allowed to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. Ooh, is Gav gonna come with me? That'd be cool. That could be cool. Okay, so I need to talk to him again? What? You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? <laughs> Gav, no question. Gav, you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcro, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a pad, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn's supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting them fleece ya. Fleece me? I like to see him dry. In your own time. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, gathering mission. Wrong button. Oops. Shit. There we go. Okay. There's side quests, though, and I'm going to do them. Side quest here. Side coast here with the main story. I'm gonna do this one first. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so it's way back here. Good day to you. Timing is exquisite, as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Sure. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. 
All right. I will. For great justice. Okay. So that is going to be right. close. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I better find out if this is just nerves or something we need to take more seriously. Excuse me. Quinton mentioned strange figures having been sighted near the village. Have you seen anything? Nah, not me, Gov. I heard the rumors, though. I'm here most days, right next to the gate, and I ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary. Don't worry. Any shady characters try and slip into town this way, and I'll soon come running. And shouting, most likely. All right. Thank you. Is Jill with me, or is it just Torgal? Hi, buddy. Fetch. Good boy. All right, let's find this other person. suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. I was out foraging for herbs when I heard it, screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me, and I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Oh boy. It's gonna go this way Seems and go investigate. Is our best bet then. What do you say, Togo? Shall we go and investigate? Can I run normal now? Thank you. Better not be. 
with all their asses. Like this village. It's peaceful. The atmosphere is really great too. It reminds me of something like you like you would find in Lord of the Rings or something. It's like you just expect elves to be here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But, if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sandbrack. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lost Wing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade. A means of ridding himself of his rivals. A mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered. And he faced no punishment wow. whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lost Wing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades, and our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion, too. Quentin. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war.
Well, shit's about to go down, apparently. Jesus. Whew. I'm not going to change his mind. Nope. All right. That might be an interesting quest chain for later down the road. But for now, one last side quest and then main story. Woot. All right. Who wants assistance? Daddy Fly. The most fragrant herbs and spices. Come, just like that. Not without so much as a bar you leave. What's the matter? Oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Sure. He's gonna pay I'll me to I do it do too, that. shit. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. <laughs> All right, let's go find his apprentice. And I think the Drake's fang is where we were last time. Oh. Or it might be misremembering. It might be uh, the pub we were at. That's main story. Uh, okay. Okay. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go down here. Fight some things on the way. Might as well. Well, is this following me? Is it just Torgal? Really? It's just Torgal? Aw. Where's Jill? She said she wouldn't ever leave me again. And here she is not. Let's fight a bird. Time to fight. Oh. 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 That's 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 the monster. That's 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 what it is. I yeah. I can't speak. We're gonna save it because it might whoop my ass. It just might, and I don't want to save it, or I don't want to fight it without Jill. So we're gonna go on the edge and not aggro him. Holy shit! Can I get this shiny? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least now I know where it is. Interesting. All right, seriously, where is this guy at? Ah, there he is. That is a wonder. I'll tell you what. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? Certainly not a baker. Master must have ruled the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. Now look at him. 
I take it you missed the Mother Crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her, how does a shell of a man learn to live again? Remember the good times. That's a good answer. Try to remember the good times. Do that, and the Mother Crystal will be with you no matter where you are. Even in the bakery. What a fool I've been. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. You've opened my eyes. I have to get back there right away. Farewell. <laughs> that was easy. Wait. He's like, see ya. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we know where the monster hunt is. Forget what that one's called exactly, but looks like a like a Dark Souls boss standing there waiting. I don't know. Without Jill, I don't trust myself to actually be able to beat it. I might be able to. But it could whip my ass pretty bad. There is a little offshoot right here on the map that I want to go check out. I have not been over here. And then I'll fast travel back. Turn it back, Chris. Oh, man, I need to stop fucking yawning. I need to stop. Oh, what are you guys staring at? Twice as tall as Titan himself cracked the fang open like it was a sparrow's egg. I swear on my grandmother's grave, I saw it myself. <laughs> he just doesn't realize that uh, Kuka ate a whole bunch of crystals and turned himself into a fucking monster. Oops. <laughs> Man, that fight was so awesome. God, every every boss battle in this game has been amazing. Oh right, this little offshoot. There was guards here. Right. I remember. Are they still there? Oh. Nope. Nice. Yay, I was hoping that was going to happen. Man, Will of the Wikes is the best thing I could ever have chosen to use. <laughs> so good. Love that move. Alright, where am I going, actually? Oh. Oh. Oh, <gasps> can I Is that accessible? Can I go over there? Oh shit. Do I go left or do I go right? Interesting. You know what? There's a shiny over there, but I think I can loop around. Always go left. Left for the win. Any secrets over here? Oh. Dudes. Get him. Go. 
God, it's so good! Holy shit! No secrets? Come on. It's gotta be something around here. Why would they put it here? There's nothing in here. Bummer. All this chocobos. And a big old bird. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, man. This damn bird, too. Yeah, come here. Oops, did not mean to do that. God damn it. Mad I had to heal that time. Whatever. Oh, there's a Drake. Oh, it's a curl. Do I fight the curl? Yes, we always fight the curl. Wow, that staggered really fast. Ow. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, son. All right, got another curl whisker. Worth it. Got a little smacked around, but that's okay. Um, I don't think. Did I go in here? I don't think I did. Huh. Empty hovel, huh? I haven't gone over there. Hi, hey bird. Quay. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh no. No, the bugs. Shit. Okay, it's a rank C. It should be fine. Oops. Well. I just gotta fight him as a group. It's so annoying. Hey, allegory. Thanks for the lurk. Am I poison? Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Buddy. He's... Did he final sting me? What a bastard. Fuck this. Yeah, get fucked, bugs. Get fucked, bugs. Ugh, I hate bugs. I hate them. <laughs> Peace at last. That was fun, though. Desert roses, huh? I will take that. Thank you. Alright, what else haven't I gone to explore? So I can't go that way, I can't go that way. Which is unfortunate. I might just head that way anyway. Just for shits and gigs. I like that tree. Yeah. 
Alright, can't go that way. We'll try to go this way, though. You lost, stranger. Wherever you're headed, it's back the way you came. It's back the way you came, bitch. At least we got an obelisk. That's good. No, you turn back. You turn back. Um, well, shoot. Just finally turn in the side quest and do more main story. a fire under my wayward apprentice <laughs> though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high he damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven master it's ready behold the drake's barn a truly unique creation I dare say it is <laughs> well just look at it a perfect likeness of the fang reminds me of Sunbro. <laughs> her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the fang without her crater? Why, no fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> Not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Well, there goes the fireworks, if you guys can hear them in the background. Sorry. <laughs> use your loaf! Instead of use your brain, I guess. Got money. Nice, nice. And more money. More stuff to sell for money. Sweet. Now, do son, I know you're king, but do you... Alright, in order to get to the main story, I think I need to go out this door over here. Yeah. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? Come here, Ambrosia. Who's a good girl? There he is. Whoa. God, the chocobo drives like a damn boat. Straight home now. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. <laughs> You're gonna lose! I always win. Oh, sparkly. See, when someone says Stardust, Stardust, I just think of Pokemon. It just looks like black sand to me. Did 
Did I miss any so far? Oh, there's another one. One more. There it is. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. There you go, buddy. Oh, you win. See, told you. That I was win. Even be enough <laughs> for all Blackthorn. Here, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Is he gonna tell me he loves Feels me? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours start to feel the strain. Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. No hug or nothing? Damn. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead, and try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? All right, let's go home. Oh, and by the way, I pre-ordered the plushie, the puppy plushie for Torgal. And I didn't realize that the pre-order date for release is January 2024. <laughs> so I'm going to be waiting a while to get my plushie. I'm kind of sad about it. It's fine, though. It is what it is. All right, back home. I hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the Stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. 
Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let mid no construction's underway. Sweet. We're gonna get an airship. Eventually. <laughs> That's exciting. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work but I don't too. quite understand the reason for the airship, unless it's like main story cutscene related. Because for it to be feasible to be used during the game, we have the fast travel. We really don't even need it. So, oh yeah. Anyways, let's go tell Mid that we've got the stuff. The stuff. We got the stuff. The stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? The stuff. We got the shit she wants. I did not go around down the right way. Ooh, what's this? On a lack livid, a queen in goblins three lived. On a lack lived, a queen in goblins three, but he not did the goblins their queen. And so full of wrath, did she banish them to shore where they supped on mud till their lips turned black and they begged to return. In good of heart, the queen, she did take them back. Looks I don't have any pictures in. Wow. That was hard to read. Oh, excuse me. 